Good afternoon and welcome to Hits Tarantulas. My name is Ian. Um, we've been asked to do a short video just to show people uh, the easiest and best ways possibly that we think to box up your spiders. Um, in front of me on the table here is just some of the equipment we might use. Okay, so we've got various sized tubs and vials for potting up various sized tarantulas. You've got one for your smallest sling there, slightly bigger slings, the other two sizes there. We use these for grown ons or maybe a very small juvenile. We've got the bigger pots. I prefer to use these sort of shape pots here for the arboreal species. I just personally find it easier myself boxing them up. And we've got the sort of tubs you see every day, cricket tubs and smaller tubs for um, boxing up juveniles to, to sort of adults. Uh, you, there is a possibility that you can use pots bigger than this depending on the spider you're shipping. Obviously you wouldn't want to put a fully grown stermy inside a cricket tub. Good luck with that. Also we use kitchen roll. We would cut this down. I prefer to use scissors but it's just because I'm anal. Um, some people would rip it and everything else. We put holes in the pots using our little uh, punch. We've got a water bottle. Um, depending on the species, depends whether you would, I'd say, saturate the, the, the um, tissue or just give it a light misting. And we've got a couple of sets of tongs which we help to coax tarantulas and stuff like that because you wouldn't really want to use your fingers for certain species. Right, and we're back. And the first spider we're going to box up is a very tiny P. sazamai. So the vial I'm going to choose is one of the small, is the smallest vial we have. Okay, I've already prepared my bit of tissue, which I'm literally just going to roll up, stick inside, poke it down with the, uh, which is now a poker, <laughs> and then I'm going to give it one spray inside with the water. And then I'm going to get rid of any excess water because what you don't want is it swimming in there. Okay, so we're now ready to box up the very small sling. So as you can see, I'm going to use this pointer, but I'm not actually going to touch the spider with it. It's just there. Okay, so put the vial inside with the spider quite close and just tap it on in. Now, it's always a good idea to cover the hole with your finger after it goes in because they do have a habit of running straight back out. You just gotta be careful with it now. Yeah, he's in there good. And that's okay to ship. Hiya, I'm Peter. Uh, I'll be showing you how to do the growing on. Uh, I thought I'd better make an appearance in this video. So uh, let's get started. First of all, I've got three pieces of kitchen roll that I've already cut up uh, uh, roughly into the right measurements. I've got my tub. I've got a catch cup on hand just in case it decides to do a runner. And I also have tongs here but because I've had a lot of experience with packing spiders I do use my fingers depending on the size and the species uh, but if you feel more comfortable just stick, stick to the tongs because the last thing you want to do is get bitten uh, I've also got my spray bottle so I can moisten up the uh, kitchen roll so you can have a drink while you're shipping so let's get started I've got my tub I take the medium size, which I fold into small sections. Take the tub, push the kitchen roll right to the bottom. So it has a small bit to 
to sit on and then we take the larger bit now what I do with this is fold it in half and just using my finger I wrap it round and it's a good size now try and keep the open end towards the bottom of the vial because the last thing you want to do is it open at the top and the spider being able to go down in down in between it just push it into the tub so it sort of sits like that and then spray some water into the bottom right for the next bit prepare the lid because the last thing you want to do is get the spider in and then have to do the lid so to fold it up and just keep folding it in until the tissue will fit perfectly inside now on doing this when you put the spider in always put the top in the vial before you push on the lid the reason is the legs can become trapped and the last thing you want to do is damage the spider because nobody wants to open a tub and find an injured spider inside. The spider I'm going to do for you is the C. Dalinji. And he's just down here And there he is. Same principle as the uh, sling. Try and place the vial directly in front of the spider and just nudge the back of the tarantula until it walks in. Place the lid on, like I said. Make sure that there's no legs or anything from the spider sticking up. And place on the lid. And that's how we do a grown on. And back to me, uh, we're going to show you now how to box up a juvenile sized uh, tarantula. Okay, for this uh, exercise, we've chosen the Brachypelma Kallenbergi, which is of a, quite a reasonable size. So I've decided to use this sort of pot, this size, for the size of the spider, which you'll see very shortly. I've already cut some tissue and folded some tissue to size. So what I've done, I'm just going to move that out of the way quickly. I've managed to fashion a nice little base for the tub, which I'm going to put in first. I've then fashioned a nice little side. What we want, I'll have that facing on the outside. So we can just put that around to make a nice little den for the spider during shipping. It doesn't need to be perfect, it doesn't need to be 100% straight, it just needs to be nice and comfortable. I'm going to give that a light spray, not too much water in there at all. Okay, I've got myself a lid, but that's going to go on afterwards. Uh, for the same reasons, you always put a lid on. What you don't want is to trap the spider's legs as you put the lid on, and you certainly don't want it to jump out as soon as you take the lid off on unboxing. So, we are now ready to box up the spider. As you can see, it's already flicking hairs. Now for this size spider, I prefer to use tongs uh, because the juveniles can be quite skittish. Now it's the same sort of principle as all the other spiders we've done. We put the pot in there and we will literally tap the spider in. Very gently. Sometimes they just don't want to go in. And other times they're as easy as anything. This one is a little bugger. 
as you can see, right is in. So we're going to put the lid on, like so, and then put the outside lid on, ensuring there are air holes. Now for this sort of pot, I would uh, recommend putting tape all around the side just to stop the lid popping off during transit. But that's pretty much how you box up a juvenile size spider. Hello, it's me again. Uh, this time I'll be taking on the adult. Um, it's the same principle as the others. Uh, I've got my round tub. Uh, I've decided to go for a arboreal species, uh, which is the Afric SP Guyana. Uh, it is one of our current breeding pairs, so you won't actually find it on our uh, website. Uh, she was paired a few days ago. Um, I'm quite comfortable of using her just for the purposes of this video, but obviously because she's been paired, we wouldn't actually ship out. So let's get started. I've already prepared my tissue, kitchen roll, to go into the tub. So I get my base and the tub. It's already put holes in, pre-made. So if I just push the base in. What I always try and do is try and get the tissue to sit around the base and then flip it over just so it looks a bit better and it's flat. Then get the side. Same principle as we did with growing on, but instead just wrap it around your hand and once again try and put the flap so it's going down to save the spider from actually going in. And just push it in and spread it out so it's all flat around the side so it's sort of smooth now when we actually do our shipping we do put in more kitchen roll so it's more padding but for the purpose of this video so you can see the actual transfer inside we've decided to leave quite a large gap for you right i'm also going to use the tongs on this it is quite a docile species, however, as we all know, with certain tarantulas, they can have a tendency, if they want you, to turn around and strike. And here she is. Just for the purpose of the video, we've removed the cork bark and the water bowl just to make access a bit easier for ourselves. So once again, what we do is we put the tub in front of her and slowly, and using the tongs, just slowly try and coax her into there. Just try not to push down too hard because you don't want to damage her. And there she goes and then just place the lid on unless it falls in like that obviously you'd, you'd make it look a bit better but I don't want to keep taking it off and putting it on but you sort of get what I mean and put the lid on And that's how we ship an adult. Okay, thanks for watching our video. Um, we hope it's helped you and uh, informed you on the best best practices for ship uh, packaging spiders up for shipping. Um, the list is a bit exhaustive, so. 
just be aware to, to consider the sort of tarantula you're shipping, the size of container you're going to need, how much moisture it needs, because um, some spiders obviously require a lot more than others and there's some where the moisture will actually have an adverse effect by the time it gets to the place it's going. Okay, um, so like we said, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, you can find us on Facebook at Hits Tarantulas. You can find us on MeWe as Hits Tarantulas and also our website www.hits-tarantulas.com. Thank you.